Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about five ways that you can handle those awkward silences in conversation. We've all been there. Everything's going fine and then all at once neither of you is talking and it's starting to feel a little awkward. So what can you say? What can you do? Let's get to it. One of the things that you can do when you're feeling this awkward silence is you can refer to something earlier on that the person has said in conversation. For instance, maybe when you started talking to them, they said something like, yeah, I've been really busy at work. To actually follow up with that and say, you mentioned that you're really busy at work lately. So what is it that you're working on? Say for instance, they mentioned their child earlier on in conversation. When there's an awkward silence, you could refer back to that. You could say, hey, you mentioned your son, so how is he enjoying school this year? Number one, it breaks the silence. Number two, it shows that you are actually listening to something that they said earlier. And number three, you're asking them to expound on a topic that they brought up earlier, so they most likely do want to talk about. The second thing that you can do to break an awkward silence is to ask the person's thoughts or opinions on something. You can do this in two different ways. Number one, you could have researched something that's trending, some kind of news topic or something that's out there that a lot of people are talking about and say, hey, I want to get your thoughts on this. Just make sure to stay away from anything controversial. Like they always say, make sure and stay away from anything that's political or anything that could be seen as divisive. Unless you know that the person feels comfortable sharing their thoughts and opinions on it. And as long as they have an opposing view to you, you know that it's not going to affect the way that you relate to them. The second way that you can get their thoughts and opinions on something is to actually reveal something about yourself. So many times, many of us, and including me, I'm really good at asking questions to other people, but I forget that I need to offer up some information about myself and actually let people get to know me. And so offering up a bit of information about yourself or about what's going on in your life and asking them, can I get your thoughts on this? I'm thinking about doing this or I'm thinking about going here. Can I ask you your opinions on this? People love to give their thoughts and opinions. What you're doing in this situation is you are actually telling them without telling them, hey, I really respect your opinion. I really respect your thoughts. So you're elevating the other person, which is obviously going to make them feel valued. Now, only do this if you really do want their opinions or their thoughts on something. Don't do it just to manipulate the other person or just to flatter them, but it is a great way to handle those awkward silences and show that you still want to engage in some good conversation with them. Now, before I get to number three, if you're liking these, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and hit the like button if you are liking this video. So let's get on to number three. Number three, you can't always do in every situation. However, if you are having a conversation with someone in a public place and there's somebody else around, sometimes when there's that awkward silence, being able to bring another person into the conversation just livens it up. It just gives a freshness to the conversation. So for instance, you could say something like, you know, speaking of vacations, Rebecca over here, I know that you went to California last month. Hey, tell us about that. And you're bringing another person into the conversation. So number four and number five really color everything that we've talked about before. And number four and number five are things that you need to do rather than to say. Number four is to continue to look like you're engaged in the conversation and you, and you still wanna to talk to the person. Sometimes when we're feeling that awkward silence, 
we, our facial expression starts to change because internally we're feeling a little uncomfortable. And so what happens is we look different on the outside. We don't look like we're enjoying our conversation as much. And we kind of have an anxious energy that the other person actually may be able to even feel. So by forcing yourself going, okay, this feels awkward. However, I am going to still be focused and interested and engaged with the other person. I'm still gonna have a pleasant expression on my face, still gonna have eye contact with them and incorporate those actions one through three. And number five is to remember, awkward silences really aren't always awkward. When you're talking to, for instance, someone who is more introverted, they might actually enjoy that silence. What may feel awkward to you, they're actually seeing as a reprieve. So don't think of every silence as something that's uncomfortable. Once you start to allow more silences in your conversations and you don't feel like you have to be talking nonstop, you'll get used to it and it won't feel as uncomfortable and the introverts in your life will probably appreciate it. I hope you have liked this video and I will see you next time.